Ciao ragazzi and welcome to another episode of Breakfast with Dave. Yes, that's right. As you can see, different location. I moved into a new house and uh, yeah, it looks fantastic. I'm loving it. Today I was craving spaghetti aglio olio peperoncino. So I was like, well, I might as well make a video and show you guys how I make my spaghetti aglio olio peperoncino. The technique has been refined over the years. It just stays so good. It's nice and creamy. And uh, yeah, let me show you. But before we get started, I just wanted to spend a few words uh, about spaghetti aglio olio e peperoncino, which in English translates to spaghetti with garlic, oil and chili flakes or chili powder. It's a traditional Italian pasta dish uh, which is believed to have its origins from uh, the region of Abruzzo in Italy. But I would go further than that and say that spaghetti aglio olio e peperoncino is probably one of the most common pasta dishes consumed on a regular basis all across Italy. And I'm sure most of you Italians watching this video would agree with me, especially at midnight, you remember when you came back from a from a night out with your friends at home, you were like, what shall we do? Pasta olio e peperoncino was the pasta to go to, wasn't it? This classic Italian pasta dish is a combination of very simple yet bold ingredients. You have the aglio, garlic, olio, oil, and peperoncino, uh, red chili or chili powder. And then the last ingredient is, that's right, the pasta. Uh, up to you, what you fancy eating. Uh, you can go for pasta corta, which is short pasta, the maniche, tortiglioni, or uh, long pasta, pasta lunga, uh, such as spaghetti, bucatini. Today we're gonna be making spaghetti as I think they go really, really well with this recipe. Similar to the cacio e pepe and pasta la gricia episode that I made recently, which I'll link to you at the end of this video, this pasta requires good ingredients, very good method and a perfect execution in order to take it to the next level. The way I refine my method of making pasta aglio olio e peperoncino over the years is the following. I start off by boiling the garlic a couple of times to take the edge off and then you put the garlic in a blender or hand blender along with olive oil and water and then you blend it together. And then you filter in a saucepan so that all you're left with is this beautiful garlic olive oil sauce. And then you're gonna throw some chopped parsley on top and a tablespoon of peperoncino. You give it a good stir and you leave it to rest. On the side, you cook your spaghetti for seven, eight, nine minutes, depending how you like them. I personally like them al dente. And then you're gonna pop your spaghetti in the saucepan and let it absorb this beautiful aglio olio peperoncino sauce. And after that, you're ready to serve. Let me show you how I did it. Now we're gonna pop the garlic in cold water and bring it to boil. And then we're gonna repeat the process a couple of times to take the edge off the garlic. And I've actually reduced the amount of water to shorten the boiling time. And here we go, the water is boiling and we can pop it in here, let it filter out, get the garlic, pop it back in there, put some more cold water in and you repeat the process again. And here we are, a couple of minutes later, water is boiling again, and we do the same as before. Drain it, pop the garlic back in the saucepan, fill it with water and let it boil again. Third and final time, water is boiling again, and just like before, you pop the garlic here, and now you're done. Now pop your garlic in a blender, just like that. Very easy then add some extra virgin olive oil. If the oil is not of good quality, the final result won't be as good. There you go. And then as a final touch, we're gonna add some water. And now we're ready to blend it. Aglio olio, 
check out this beautiful aglio olio peperoncino sauce. Now we get a strainer and we filter this beautiful aglio olio sauce. Oh, look at that. And then what we're left with is the cleanest, purest aglio olio peperoncino sauce. This is gonna be so good. Now that the sauce is ready, we can start making the pasta. And in the meantime, we can chop some parsley for the aglio olio peperoncino sauce. Don't forget to put a good helping of salt. And in the meantime, we can finish the aglio olio peperoncino sauce with some parsley and half a tablespoon of peperoncino. And then we give it a good mix. Oh, look how the color is changing. Beautiful. Pasta is getting almost ready. I'll come back in five minutes. Pasta is now ready. I like it nice al dente. So it's got a nice bite to it. You're just gonna drain it. Save some of the water. And then you pop your pasta in with the sauce and give it a good stir. and let the pasta absorb this beautiful aglio olio peperoncino sauce. Oh, I wish you could smell this. And next, all you'll have to do is to pop it in. Next, top it off with some of the sauce on top. it off with some chili powder and here's your beautiful aglio olio peperoncino and here it is pasta aglio olio peperoncino breakfast with day version this smells even better than it looks you can smell the peperoncino the garlic garlic is mellow and then you get a parsley and the extra virgin olive oil okay let's stack in let me get a good bite mm. Pasta is perfectly al dente. This is the, the chaco pasta. I cooked it for seven and a half, eight minutes. Perfect. You probably don't want to go more than that. Now, this pasta is it's very simple. A few ingredients, aglio, olio, peperoncino. But when executed perfectly, the, the flavor is very complex because you got different layers. You get your garlic, you get your extra virgin olive oil, you get your chili, and then on top, you get this little cherry on the cake, which is the parsley, which complements really well with all the other ingredients. Let me have another bite. It's just, it's just so good. Simple, tastes amazing. And you can make it in literally 10 minutes. What else would you want? 
next time when you come back from your night out. Remember this video, go and check out the recipe in the description down below that I'll leave for you. If you like this video, give it a like, and if you want to see many more amazing recipes, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram at Breakfast with Dave, and until then, ciao for now!